Hey, everybody. Hello, guys. How's it going? We've uh, got the gym. And Dave's beer, beer, beer review. Right. One was a little higher energy than the other. Jim's got this One of these dudes is not like the other. Horse in his throat or something. I got a horse in my throat. And I say the nay. Oh, my God. Okay, so here, guys. We got this stuff called Lord Hobo's Boom, Boom Sauce. Sauce. It's a double IPA. Double IPA. It's got 7.8 uh, ABV with a 77 IBU. That's a lot of IBUs. So there is nothing subtle about our flagship beer. Boom Sauce is a big and bold IPA with a complex hop profile. I like a complex hop, hop with profile. five different hops. It hits you with strong tropical fruits. How come every week we have tropical fruits? Uh, it's popular. Yes, okay. West Coast. Flavors more mellowing out to finish with a hint of earthiness. More dirt. Uh, earthiness. That earthy yeah, beer, okay. right. Each subquestion. Uh, sub, subquestion. I can't even tell him. Sequestered? Yeah, sequestered. Yeah, each. Sub, uh, God, I can't say that. Subsequent. Lumen, 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 lumen. Subsequent. Bum, 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 bum. Subsequent. Taste opens up the dynamic layers of complexity woven throughout the, the beer. Not the year, but the beer. Okay, I thought about the year because we said woven throughout through the beer. beer, not the year. Imagine right. fresh pressed fruit without the sweetness. Perfect for that Saturday afternoon pickup. Oh, wait. Fresh pressed Fre fruit perfect for without that the sweetness. It says imagine fresh pressed <laughs> fruit without the sweetness. I'm having a hard time with that one. Perfect for that Saturday afternoon pick-me-up or a late-night gathering of friends. That's where we're having a late-night gathering of friends. Yeah, if you're our friend and it's late night. It says here the hops are Amarillo, Warrior, Ella, Mosaic, and Falconer's Flight. Ella, huh? The malts are Ella. Pilsner, Planet, Red Wheat, Spelt, Oat, Malt, and Flaked Oats. What is Spelt, Dave? Besides how you spell stuff in the past tense. Uh, I don't know. It's got tropical fruit and citrus in the taste. The aroma is tropical fruit, pine, sweet, dirt. I'm just adding the dirt part. Right. No, that's fine. Uh, the appearance is golden, hazy, slightly. Okay. Well, the yeah, color is uh, right. average. It's not really all that hazy. Uh, it smells I like, tropical. I like the can. Actually, the can on the website looks better than the can in front of us. That's a different design. I know it's taller. Well, that the little logo they have up here in the middle. Hey, yo, what are you doing? We did cheers. <laughs> you know, we'll just throw all like protocol out the window. Fine, cheers. Mm -hmm. Talk about the can later. I waited. No, you didn't. You were oh, just like, I was talking, man. I'm going to drink. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, this crown that's really small here. I'm sorry. It's much bigger Oops. on the other label we're looking at. <laughs> Anyhow, Boom Sauce, good name, very tropical, very yeah, fruity, but, uh, and I guess this is fruit without sweetness. Too piney. I don't like it that well, because I thought I'd like to hope I liked it or something. It's got too much dirt in it. Eh, it's not that earthy. That's how I feel, man. Now, there is pine there, and there's tropicalness. Like eh, I'll give it mm, 6.25 out of 10. I give it a 6. There you have it. 6 out of 10 from Dave, 6.25 out of 10 from Jim. Yes, 5.75. Either way, it's around there somewhere. Well, decent ABV. All know. depends how much I'm thirsty. It's yet. fine. It's fine. It's okay. The bitterness does tend to linger, but... Yes, bitterness it, is lingering too much. <laughs> That's why I give it a 6, not a 7. Well, it's not really happens. all that bad of a bitterness, to be honest with you. I yes, can tolerate it's this It's terrible. One. Terrible. There's like a um, a dark bitterness and a light bitterness. This is more on the light side. Uh, it's the bright side. Dark side. Really? Hmm, interesting. Right. Well, somebody, somebody might think so. By the way, the reason we do always do beer reviews is you. we believe that you, our viewers, should drink great beers. And have a good laugh to your friends. Your friends. Let's get to a lot of stuff there. That's I? okay. Be be pregnant and don't have children. Are yeah, children. if you want to be pregnant, don't have children. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, All right, scratch that. I, I, I got a root canal. We I'm like to pain. do. Okay. Okay, that's all. Uh, I hope you get better soon. I know that's why it pains. Well, I say that I'm women are pregnant shouldn't drink alcoholic beverages at the risk of birth defects. Right, bad. You shouldn't operate heavy machinery or drive a vehicle if you're in the middle of alcohol. Terrible. Alcohol in the course terrible. Of Excessive drinking can cause health problems. Terrible. And the reason we do all these different beer reviews, as we said before, is because of you, our viewers. We want you to drink, drink great beer. And have a good laugh to your friends. We are friendly. We love you. This is Rob Joe Chow. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Comment below. We'll see you next time on the Jim and Dave Beer Review. Right-o. Brother. Brother. Hey-o. Oh.